How did you make the leap from being an employee to become an entrepreneur? I, I, like, honestly, I stumbled into it, right? I mean, you could call it entrepreneurial. I think it was, you know, I saw a need and, and I was dumb enough to do it, right? Like, I, I really, that's probably how I'd frame it, you know? Uh, <laughs> when, I, when I started Lucha, that was that small school, right? It was families saying to me, we got to do this. And I mean, if you put context around it, you know, I was a full-time teacher with 22 kids working my tail off, right? Um, in that year, I would lose my sister. In that year, um, you know, I was recruiting teachers to start this school. I was having to figure out the budget. I had no idea what I was doing. I met with this principal who was amazing in Oakland. She kept asking me all these questions. This was over winter break. And I remember leaving that lunch and I was like, oh my God, like I can't answer 90% of those questions. Like, what am I doing? Like, what am I doing? And I came back to the parents and I was like, what are we doing? Like, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really bad. Like, we should, you know, should call it off. Call it off before it gets bad. And the parents are like, let's, no, we're going to get this done, right? And so I didn't get a stipend. I, I, I did this, like, for free. Um, and that's crazy. Like, I look back at it now, and I'm like, you know, I bet you half the people. I know why when I went to my principal and said, hey, let's do a small school. And she was like, that's too much work, right? I, like, I get it now as, like, as you get older. But I think you just got to be sometimes maybe young and dumb, and you see an opportunity. You say, like, hey, I think we can do a school a better way, and I've got an opportunity, and hell, why not? Why not? And uh, so I think like the fancy ways, like, oh, I'm an entrepreneur. Or you can say, like, I saw there was a need and I was just dumb enough to kind of go after it.